Hey what's going on everyone, welcome back to another video and today we have the Xiaomi Mi Gaming Mouse. This is Xiaomi's first gaming mouse and they have done a pretty great job for the most part. And it seems like it's a trend with Xiaomi gaming products, there's always one little flaw that can kind of ruin the experience and we'll talk about it for this one in just a bit. So the build quality of this thing as expected from Xiaomi is pretty great and the materials are up to par. Now inside this back panel you'll find the wireless dongle for the wireless function of course, as well as four screw points for taking this thing apart which we will be doing at the end of this video. And the sides have some very nice rubberized grips, which really helps keeping this thing from slipping. In fact, I wish more mice had this kind of feature. All the buttons here are nice and tactile, they feel pretty great, and they're not too light nor too heavy, they are just perfect, very nice and crispy buttons, as guys can hear. And you can definitely feel the build quality when getting to the actual buttons. The right and left click buttons feel pretty fantastic. The scroll wheel is pretty smooth and it's got a lot of ridges, so it's the complete opposite of a Zowie mouse if you have ever used one. And again, the same goes for the DPI buttons, side buttons, and the aim button. Now take a look at the back here, we can see that there are five skates, two in the top, two in the middle, and one giant one at the back, which is pretty nice. And overall I have to say it's a pretty good feeling mouse, it slides pretty smoothly, the buttons feel great, and the overall design in terms of comfort is not terrible, even though it kind of looks a bit weird. In fact, the back arch right here kind of sits very comfortably on the back of my palm. It kind of just hugs it, it's perfect, and the material is very nice, so it's got a lot going for it. And when shaking it, does it have some sound? Well, as you have heard, it does. And it's not terrible because when you're using it, you never hear it unless you really pick it up and start shaking it really hard. In fact, the G502 is much noisier. And if you are wondering about this mouse pad right here, yes, it is the Xiaomi Gaming Mouse Pad. It's pretty nicely sized and I like how the logo is at the top corner. And it's designed in a way where you can actually rotate it and not look too dumb. Either way, it still looks pretty cool. And if you're wondering, no, it does not slide very easily. In fact, you know, the only way you can slide it is by pushing the edges and that's pretty much because the back of this thing is made out of rubber and it pretty much has a plethora of rubber feet and it is flexible. Now it's very hard to see from the side here but it does have three different layers. The first one would be on the bottom which is the rubber layer, then comes the main frame and then the actual mouse pad texture on top. I really have no complaints about it, it feels pretty great and the price point it's pretty nice as well so if you're someone who's looking for a hard pad on the back you got the power switch as well as the connect button for the wireless function and once it's turned on it will also turn on the RGB or won't depending on how you configure it in the software. Speaking of the software, yes it does give you some RGB functions, yes it does look pretty great when it's turned on with RGB especially at night. The software is of course in Chinese and at the same time you have to have the mouse plugged in directly into the computer. Which I have to say the included cable is pretty nice, it's high quality, it's braided and it's about 1.8 meters in length. Now the tip here does have some reinforcements and grooves to go into the mouse so when you actually plug it in it does not move around and it's not going to break the mouse or the cable or any of the connections and overall it is a pretty snug fit. So if you do want to use this as a regular mouse it's going to work out pretty nicely. Now of course if you're someone who's competitive and looking into a light mouse this is not a light mouse. In fact without the dongle or the cable it weighs about 141.5 grams. And if you're wondering how flexible the cable is well it's pretty flexible you could say that it's similar to a G502 cable from Logitech and you can only change the functions of this mouse when it's plugged in directly through the cable. The RGB function is there, you don't have a lot of control but it's there and it does work and although you have a lot of buttons right here they're hard to remap, in fact there's not a whole lot that can be done. And at the same time the battery life on this thing it's pretty terrible, you can barely get one day out of this thing of heavy usage. It takes about an hour to charge this thing fully and it's really hard to find out how much battery life you have exactly and the software does not have any battery life indicator because the only way you would know is you either run out of battery, it starts disconnecting or when you turn it on it would tell you with the battery life with these LEDs right here. They're also used for the DPI function. Well, it takes about an hour to charge this thing fully to 100% and I have used this thing for a couple weeks when I got it and the maximum battery life that I got out of this thing was probably about 8 hours. Even with the LEDs off, you would still struggle to get a full day's usage out of this thing. 8 hours is probably the maximum you could get and it's pretty disappointing because the actual responsiveness which we haven't talked about yet, it's pretty great, in fact it's pretty fascinating. This was the first mouse that I got that has pretty much almost no latency, if there's any it's probably very minimal. And they have done a fantastic job and that's what impressed me about this mouse. Up until recently finding a good wireless gaming mouse was very hard, something that has no latency and good tracking. 
This thing has all of it, and I feel like it has a PWM 3360 or 3366 sensor. It's not listed on the website, but we are going to be taking it apart at the end of this video. On the other hand, I've recently got this mouse. In fact, I got another one right here, and these are the Logitech G305s. They don't have a cable, and there's a good reason for them, and they're pretty lightweight. The skates that come with them are pretty smooth. You got six in total, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tracking is on point and battery life is pretty fantastic. Ever since getting this thing, I popped in one of my Amazon Bakes as AA batteries. They're rechargeable ones with the high capacity and I have not charged it for about a month now. And this is all with heavy usage and I have still not encountered any issues whatsoever in terms of connection, in terms of battery life. Everything works just as intended. And this thing is about the same price as that one. And once again, they come in two different colors white and black. I got the white one first, then got the black one because these are so damn nice. And yes, they do have side buttons and overall they are pretty fantastic. I'll have a review on them later on in the future. If you guys are interested in those, I'll leave links for them in the description below. Now, speaking of the connection, this thing did have some issues. Sometimes when you shut down your computer and you turn it back on, this thing will not wake up. And in fact, you have to turn it off, unplug the dongle and replug everything and turn it back on and then maybe you'll get a connection back together. It's a lot of hassle and it's pretty annoying. On the upside, it does work perfectly fine with a wired connection and for someone who got this mouse expecting something great and you didn't watch any of these videos yet, well, now you know the problems and at least you're not left out in the water. You have some hope with the direct connection even though you got this mouse for the wireless function. And at this point, all you have to do is to go ahead and take it apart and take a look inside and see what kind of hardware we have in here and if you can go ahead and find out what sensor is in here because the sensor here tracks pretty well. It does not spin out, it does not have any latency, tracking is on point and there is no mass acceleration. So let's go ahead and find out. So already take a look inside, there's a lot going on and you can see that there's a lot of thought put into this mouse. I mean, this looks pretty great, in fact it has a lot of hardware. Alright, so here's a look at the battery. It is a 3.7 volt, 900 milliamp hour battery, and you would expect to get some pretty good battery life, but this thing likes to chug battery life for some reason. It's just unfortunate. And you never know, I might have got a lemon or a bad unit, but nonetheless, pretty terrible battery life. Alright, so here's what we are working with. It seems like it's got some kind of ARM chipset. And if you'd like, I'll have some high resolution pictures of this mouse in the description below of the actual PCB and all the parts. And taking a look at the top here, we have the logo and it says M02A mainboard V2.4 revision A. Here's what the back of this PCB looks like. Again, there's just a whole lot going on this mouse. It's pretty impressive how much engineering has been put into this thing. The PCB is black, which is pretty awesome. And we can see that it's got a PWM 3330M sensor. And lastly, we have the charging board, which is where you can also find the actual antenna. So there you go, we got five layers of components with four of them being PCBs and that's just insane for a wireless gaming mouse. There's just a whole lot going on inside, but it's also full of minor issues that can be fixed easily, but, but it is what it is. So with that said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and we're gonna go ahead and conclude the video. Alright, so the conclusion, what do I think about this mouse and should you get it and what are the alternatives? Well, of course, don't get this thing if you're looking for a wireless mouse. It's going to make for a terrible wireless mouse. If you're someone who's a big fan of Xiaomi and you just have to have everything, you can always use the cable and you're going to be just fine. You're going to have your RGB and you're going to have your DPI controls very easily. You can change your DPI through the buttons right here and you can adjust it through the software. Other than that, it is a missed opportunity by Xiaomi. They could have made a fantastic mouse, but for some reason the battery issue has not been resolved even with a firmware update. And um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. It does feel nice. I could definitely see myself using it as a daily driver. But again, for about the same price, you can get something that is much better, much more optimized, and it has an insane battery life with replaceable AA batteries inside, which is pretty fantastic. I will leave links for these things if you guys are interested in the description below. And other than that, that is pretty much it for this video. Look forward to the reviews for those mice. They're basically G Pros and G403s, just in a wireless variant. Half disappointed, half impressed with the Xiaomi mouse. And that is all for this video. So thank you all for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe and comment like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Oh yeah, and this mouse pad right here, it's actually pretty good. I would totally recommend getting it if you're into hard pads. See ya.